Hello Capricorn, welcome to your October tarot forecast reading. I will be selecting cards from the Steampunk Tarot deck to get a general idea of the energies at play for you this month. And then I will select a focus card for advice on where to place your energy from the Witch's Tarot deck. And then lastly, I will pull a message card for you on the energy to bring in from the Magical Spell Oracle deck. If you wish to hear the full message from the book that accompanies that deck, you can stay tuned after your reading and I will read that for you. So Capricorn, let's see what the month of October has in store for you. All right. All right. So again, I'm not choosing to read any reversals with this particular reading. Um, and I'm doing a half Celtic here, so I can explain that as I go along. The Ten of Pentacles is the main card for you. It's the center card. It's the focus card. Uh, there is a similar energy here with some of the other signs that I have read already. Uh, but the Ten of Pentacles really has to do with like your wealth and your stability and um, how what it is that you um find in life or associate with in life that makes you feel wealthy on some level a lot of people their wealth is in their health a lot of people their wealth is in their family or their relationships or um even in your work or it could even be money but um this is something that you feel um, like truly abundant in and truly blessed in. Okay. So this is sort of the focus for you. Okay. Nine of Pentacles is like what you have personally obtained in this life and, and having control over that. And just knowing that, um, you did that with your own effort. Okay. So I do see a sense of pride and a sense of accomplishment. Okay. So you worked very hard and, um, maybe some of you are desiring to have a family or feel included where you don't necessarily feel like, um, you have the most intimate contacts or relationships. This won't apply to everybody, just some people. But the reason I'm saying this is because the Nine of Pentacles woman here, she's in her garden that she's worked so hard for and her house that she's worked so hard for, but she's a figure that's alone, right? So she has her pets, she has her friends, but she's kind of isolated from the rest of the group. So maybe in some sense, some of you Capricorns might be feeling like you want more intimate relationships or you want to feel included in some way in a group or um, within your family even or with even in your workspace so again I'm kind of seeing that um, you're sort of building things and you have control over what you find value in and where you're placing your value okay so the recent past um, living up to the demands of others uh, the Seven of Wands is like you have a lot on your plate, I think, from the beginning of October to the middle of October. And um, you're just really living uh, moment to moment and you're very busy throughout the day. You don't have a lot of extra time maybe to go around and maybe that's why you're feeling a little bit isolated. Not to say that you don't have friends, but it's just like you don't have time because it's like you're doing all this other stuff. And it's not really, um, you need to decide what your priorities are, I guess, in the month of December is what I would have to say. So your thoughts are the moon, okay? So this is kind of a fluctuation sort of energy. Uh, this is the subconscious realm. Uh, you could make sure to sort of pay attention to your dreams and um, think about um, your feelings, okay? So um, the moon is definitely representative of feelings. They come and go. So being the observer of your feelings and not being swept away by your emotions, but um, just noticing them, okay? So reflecting on them, okay? Reflective thoughts to me is sort of what I'm seeing for the month of October. Also, you're thinking a lot about the past. Okay, 
from the middle of October until the um, end of October, I still see you being very busy, okay? However, this is a different energy where you're actually able to find a little bit more balance towards the end of the month. So where you were a little bit scattered here and sort of here, there, and everywhere and kind of a little bit of a mess, um, it kind of looks like towards the end of the uh, month you're sort of gotten a grip on it a little bit and um, I see you really riding through any storm um, with courage and power okay here so I do, do see you actually being able to juggle things um, quite nicely and you've got a grip on it so you're still very busy though um, but you're able to manage your schedule a little bit better. Okay, again, the shadow card, which is sort of telling me, it's like a, also a supplemental sort of theme energy. It's crazy. A little bit of chaos in your life, okay? You need to sort of get things organized when it comes to working with you and other people um, because it just looks like this chaos within the group, okay? So I feel like this card has come up for you um, before with the five of wands in a previous reading, most recent previous reading. Um, but you're trying to accomplish something and you're putting your all into it and you put in a lot of effort, but you're collaborating with other people and you know, everyone else has their ideas as well and you're on top of it, okay? You're sort of able to manage this group of people well. So, but I do see being a little bit of chaotic energy. It's sort of like you're kind of getting a handle on it towards the end of the month. So let's go ahead and pull a card uh, for you to focus on, what area of your life you can focus on. For the month of October here, Capricorn. Okay. There it is. Six of Wands. Okay, so perfect. So this is the card that follows the Five of Wands. So here's a little bit chaotic in a group. Things will come together and you will achieve your goal. If you're worried about that or concerned about it, see so you giving a presentation of some sort as well, or you're getting things ready for a presentation. Okay. So this is what I would focus on is like the end result and how you want things to look and how you want things to appear. And I do see you practicing or needing some sort of dress rehearsal in some way. So make sure to schedule in enough time where you can where you can do that. Okay. You also um, you want to be seen in a way that is res is of respect. You want to be seen as as having um, people having respect for you and the hard work that you put in. So that's what I see for October for you. And I'm going ahead, going to pull a card from this Magical Spell Oracle deck. I just want to reiterate that I'm personally not into like magic, not into dark magic or dark energies, but I think that um, setting your intentions, setting prayers, focusing on visualizing on what energy you want to bring in is helpful because we all do have a hand in our how we interact with our destiny so let's see what energy you can personally bring in for yourself Capricorn for the month of October that will help you what energy can you bring in oh, safe home protection okay all right, so here I sort of see that with here you have the family and here you have this gate um, where you're sort of protected and safe in the home. And this is something that you've created. Maybe you just re maybe you just installed some sort of security system in your home. Um, that's possible. Um, but I do see like there's a fence here, there's a boundary, there's a border, and you're focused on keeping yourself and your loved ones safe, okay? So uh, Capricorn, this is the message that I had for you for the month of October. If you have any questions or comments about your reading, feel free to leave them in the comments box below and I'll make sure to address those for you. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel so that you can receive um, more of these horoscope um, forecasts for your sign um, in the upcoming months. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, quick note, in each of these videos I kept referring to the Witch's Tarot deck that I was pulling the advice card from, but I was actually using the Wizard's 
tarot deck by Corin Kenner. Apologies for the misreference, but it was actually the wizard's deck. All right, Capricorn, so this is what the book has to say on safe home protection. Having a safe home makes us feel secure in the world. It's our nest to which we return to revive ourselves for our flights into the busy world. A safe and happy home lights up our life and enriches our relationships. Treasure and love your home with this protection spell. If you were chosen by this card, the universe is asking you to take better care of your domestic environment, to remember that it too is a haven and that balance comes when we treasure the personal. Cast the spell and become more aware of the magic of a safe, loving, and enchanted home. If you chose the spell, you may live in an area and who doesn't, where we fear some kind of harmful force. This spell will not only protect your home, but will also help you feel more secure as you move throughout the world. A safe and harmonious home can be yours, even in this modern world. Cast the spell to let its magic work upon you, your home, and your life. So I'm seeing um, that you should visualize a circle of white light around your house and see this magical circle radiating out that ripples so that every part of your home, every window, every door from above and below is protected by the divine white light. Then when leaving your home, draw a star in your mind's eye over the front and back doors, again in white. Your home will be spiritually, magically, and actually secure. Okay, Capricorn. So I hope this additional message has given you some further insight into your reading. And again, thank you so much for watching.